Hey, 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 everyone. Hey, 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 everybody. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And Best Buy will stop selling CDs. That That is what they're doing. Best Buy, Best Buy, they're not selling CDs anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. I had so many people ask me about this. I have no idea why. Be, because here's the thing. This is honestly a long time coming. Like the, for years, there have been news stories about these big box stores just shrinking their CD sections down, dwindling them down to almost nothing. I mean, every once in a while, I will buy a CD, but typically when I do it, uh, I'll like buy it used online or something like that. Rarely am I ever buying CDs at Best Buy. Like I, I think I was holiday shopping the year before last, and I bought a few copies of the new Adele CD for my mom, for my mother-in-law. They really enjoyed it. I know that they're into her music. So while I was there, I got those, and I got like a few Metallica CDs that were like six or seven bucks each. And and I think that's that's the last time I was buying CDs at Best Buy. And, and I don't even know when the hell was the last time I bought a CD at Best Buy before that. Like, it's probably been decades. Man, like, when I grew up, we bought CDs all the time. We'd go to FYE. We'd go to Strawberries. We'd go to all of these, you know, little music shops where it would be mostly CDs and, and cassettes and shit. But that th those days are gone. Those days are gone. I mean, there's still record stores around. But, like, a CD, it's kind of a dead and dying format. And I understand why, because you're already listening to a digital representation of music when you're streaming or when you're listening to mp3s or when you're listening to waves or flack or whatever you don't need to buy and pick up and, and put a cd on a tray to hear that shit you know for sure a cd generally the sound quality is going to be higher than that of let's say you're streaming the free version of spotify it, it's going to be higher quality it's going to be higher sound quality but to most people who are listening over their uh, earbuds on a, on a smartphone or on their laptop speakers, uh, and, and even to most people just kind of like streaming and listening to music off of their uh, home stereo or listening to music in their car, it, it doesn't really make a difference. It doesn't really make a difference. The, the sound quality is not so great in difference that most people are going to prefer one over the other or only limit themselves to CD. Sorry, I can't listen to a stream of music. The sound quality, it's just too bad. I'm going to go listen to a CD, okay? That, that's not what goes through people's heads. It's not what goes through people's heads. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what this means outside of it's, it's just a confirmation of what everybody who has been primarily streaming to listen to all of the new music that they listen to uh, ha have sort of just been, you know, seeing coming for a long time. It's just an acknowledgement of, of the present, really. Uh, I'm surprised Best Buy held out as long as they did on the whole CD thing. Uh, good for them, though. You know, they, they, really, they really just uh, kept at it. Um, apparently, The Verge over here in the midst of doing this article also hit up Target. Target says, Entertainment has been and continues to be an important part of Target's brand. We are committed to working closely with our partners to bring the latest movies and music titles along with exclusive content to our guests. The changes we're evaluating uh, uh, to our operating model, which shows a continued investment in entertainment business, reflect a broader shift in the industry and consumer behavior. We have nothing more to share at this time. So, I mean, it's only a matter of time before I think most stores are sort of foregoing the whole CD thing or CD sections are dwindling down so much that you're really only seeing like whatever the top 15, top 20 albums are or like compilations or like super popular classic CDs populating CD sections and, and that's pretty much it. Because for a lot of these places, like it's 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 no longer going to be feasible to, to waste this kind of money on, on, on product that isn't moving or to uh, uh, sort of lose money on leftover CDs and, and that sort of thing. So uh, listen, I'm, I'm not surprised. Um, and, and honestly, I'm pretty neutral on it, you know, because uh, 
I mean, smaller record stores, I, I guess this could potentially end up uh, being a good thing for them because maybe they'll sort of step in and pick up the pieces or when somebody does want to own music physically, uh, they will go and buy it at a local record store or something. Do I think ultimately this means something for physical media in general, physical music in general? Um, you know, I always think there's going to be a market out there, at least to some degree, for people who kind of want to collect a physical copy of a record or something in the same way that somebody might collect comic books or whatever. But um, it's it's going to continue to dwindle. I, I don't think we've hit rock bottom. However, I don't think the vinyl revolution that we've been seeing over the past decade has hit its peak. So I think while simultaneously physical sales are dropping, I think the vinyl sales are going to continue to go up and eventually they're going to meet somewhere. One will plateau. One will, you know, sort of, uh, uh, sort of reach a point where it stops falling. One will reach a point where it stops rising. And that's pretty much where that, that's, that's going to be the new normal. That's going to be the new normal that we're at right there. But Best Buy no longer selling CDs. Not really surprised. Not really surprised. Let me know uh, what you guys think of this story and this development. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out or hit up the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, I love you forever.